Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are looking for home maintenance treatments to maintain the way you look during this awful lockdown period, then continue watching. I love doing maintenance treatments as well as doing home maintenance treatments for you guys at home. This is the more affordable, quick and easy way to maintain yourself. These are treatments that you can do just to maintain the way you look for that period that you're in lockdown. I know a lot of you guys may or may not be in lockdown right now, but even if you're not, these are just treatments you can do at home to maintain the way you look. We're gonna be just discussing hair removal as well as skincare and hair care because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how I maintain my silky smooth skin, my flawless face <laughs> and my um, shiny hair. I'm kidding, literally no one asked. I have actually spoken about home hair removal previously in vlogs because I am the worst person when it comes to doing top up treatments for my hair removal in clinic. I can't stick to an appointment and it's awful, which is why I've tried out IPL devices. And now this is actually one of the first laser hair removal devices I've been using. And I'm excited to actually be partnering with this brand. This is the Tria Beauty four times laser hair removal device. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but if you're looking to invest in a good quality product that delivers the results that you're looking for, this is probably one of the best on the market. It has definitely changed the game for hair removal at home. If you guys aren't already aware laser hair removal is not suitable for all hair types it doesn't actually work on blonde gray white or red hair that's literally just with all lasers it actually works on eliminating the hair from the root so it burns the hair at the root ensuring that the hair doesn't ever grow back this is a device which you can use once every two weeks on your entire body and face it doesn't hurt at all and the treatment basically works to your own personal skin type the device is locked until it has been set onto your skin so this little red light will test your skin that means it's ready to go and then this little device here is what presses down on your skin and delivers the pulses it's literally that easy there's a little bit of heat being transmitted but it's not painful this is such a good present for someone if you have like a hairy girlfriend boyfriend mum, dad aunt uncle friend you can give them one of these for christmas or even valentine's day or give this to them before valentine's day so they're hairless for valentine's day definitely check out the link in the description box below. The next magical device I wanna to speak to you guys about, which is something which I know a lot of people think is completely useless, but honestly, it's not. This is the LED face mask. I live for these. I think they are so magical. I take this with me everywhere I go on holiday, and it's something I use once in the evening or once in the morning. If I ever get a spare few minutes, this is something I will use because I have very sensitive skin, even if you don't have sensitive skin, if you've got acne prone skin, using LED light often can really help target killing bacteria as well as minimizing the effects of fine lines and wrinkles. From a clinical background perspective, we actually use LED light therapy in a majority of our treatments because it really does help your skin. I know it just seems completely useless, like why is shining a red or blue light on your face going to do anything? They aren't super expensive. You can probably get one for about 30 pounds. They go up to about 150 pounds for like the really professional ones, but really and truly, you don't have to spend that much money on these. If you want a higher grade medical LED light, then obviously you can spend more. Next, I wanna to speak to you guys about the Travel Size Cleansing Brush Kit. I love good facial cleansing brush. I think they are so important to use in your skincare routine because they really help remove all the dirt, makeup, and bacteria from your skin. This is actually just the travel size one, just to show you guys. I was actually planning on going to London, so I just wanted to take a little quick one with me. I love this because it comes in a little kit and you've got four different types of cleansing brush cleansing brushes. So you've got this silicone little brush, which is actually, oh, it feels so nice. Then you've got a soft bristle and then you've got a slightly tougher bristle and then this is like a pumice stone i don't know if i said that correctly but this is like for like getting rid of like dead skin on like feet or your elbows or anywhere you've got really like thick dead skin and i think it's important to actually have one of these i know a lot of people don't actually take care of their feet and i think you really should honestly i think that's one thing that really bugs me is when i see crusty feet like out of courtesy for the person you're sleeping with you should really have nice soft feet to be honest i think it's just insulting to not so having a little travel size brush set like this is very important because it helps get rid of all the bacteria dirt and debris that a makeup wipe or like 
pads just can't do. I know there are a lot of expensive ones on the market and I honestly as someone that likes to waste money I just don't see the point in wasting money on an expensive cleansing brush when you can get the exact same or similar on Amazon for a lot less. So the next device I want to talk to you guys about is something I was initially very skeptical about because I didn't really know what it was doing for my skin or whether it was beneficial or not but if you're someone that suffers from having a puffy face in the morning probably because you're not drinking enough water in the evenings then definitely get one of these. This is a jade roller. I know that it comes in like rose quartz as well as amethyst and very other various crystals, but I went for the jade roller because I just preferred the green, to be honest. There's no other real reason. Like, this is a great device. I love sticking this into my little fridge, which I have in my bathroom, and then waking up and depuffing my face with this is just the most magical feeling. It's so cold. I honestly don't really use it to depuff because I tend to drink a lot of water before bedtime as well as have a massive jug at my bedside in case I wake up dying of thirst to ensure that I don't get puffy and that I'm able to rid my body of toxins once I wake up via peeing. This is something I really need in the mornings to actually wake me up. I struggle to wake up and having like a splash of cold water is great but having an icy cold rolling device on your face it not only like wakes me up, but it's actually really therapeutic and I kind of love it. But if you've got fillers in your face, then I don't really recommend using this. I've only got fillers on my lips just to reiterate because I know everyone thinks my face is stuffed with fillers and Botox. Sadly, no, it's natural. The last kind of like facial beauty product I want to talk to you about, which isn't really a beauty product, but it's something you need, are towel headbands. I know this might seem crazy to some people, but I only recently got into these. Amazon have an amazing selection, and you can get these in like packs of three for about less than £10. They're amazing. I use one in the morning when I'm washing my face, and then I use another one whilst I'm doing my makeup. And this just ensures that you're not actually getting anything into your hairline, and you're preserving your beautiful blowout. It just sure that your makeup goes on flawlessly because you're not actually getting anything into your hair. I didn't think these headbands were really necessities until I actually started using them. I basically have very curly hair so when I blow dry my hair I want to ensure that my baby hairs stay nice and straight. When I wasn't using these and I was doing my skincare routine or just applying makeup I noticed that my baby hairs would get wet obviously they go curly and then I'd have like makeup in my hairline it was just a mess I also want to talk to you guys about hair products because I've recently started to take care of my natural hair a lot more so I cut it back in September it has actually grown so much I'm shocked I cut it pretty short because it was all dead but I recently changed my hair products I started using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. These are the Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner set in four and five. Repairs, strengthens, and hydrates all hair types. This has been really good. I haven't seen any issues with this. Honestly, I love the smell. It's not really like strong and it doesn't smell awful, which is the most important thing. In between shampooing, I have recently started using the <laughs> I recently started using this hair mask in between my shampoo routine. This is when I use a hair oil or a hair growth product in my hair the night before. I then apply this. This is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask to basically deep condition my hair, make sure there's no residue of any oil or anything left in my hair. This has left my hair so silky and soft. I already love to touch my hair, so this just makes it even worse. Another product which I actually got recommended by my sister is the Way the way hair oil shampoo deep condition then i condition then i come out the shower towel dry brush apply this just at the tips of my hair oh my god it smells divine it's so lovely i absolutely love this i would definitely recommend that it just gives you a bit of like a sheen a gloss it helps with frizz and of course last but not least is the dyson hair dryer I forgot what it's called for a second this one is my favorite head i absolutely love it. it is the most magical tool i've ever used on my hair blow drying my hair previously was an absolute nightmare i have very coarse hair and it's just so frizzy and like it's just 
it's the most horrific part of my getting ready routine. I hate drying my hair, I hate doing my hair. I used to go to the salon a lot of the time to get my hair done. With this, I found that I'm spending a lot less time in the salons and doing my hair on my own because I'm able to achieve that bouncy kind of blow dried hair that I was looking for. Previously, I'd blow dry my hair with a normal hair dryer and then straighten my hair or I'd curl it and do twice the amount of heat styling that I would when I've been using this because this naturally just gives you this amazing like lift from the roots it's the round brush that really does it that's what my hairstylist said i have tried the air wrap thing it's not really for me my hair is too curly if you don't have one of these and you've been umming and ahhing about it great christmas present you have to you just have to get one of these that basically summarizes my entire products video i know a lot of you guys actually asked me to film a video on products I absolutely love. If you want one on makeup products, I would definitely recommend watching my get ready with me videos. I list all the products that I use down below. I very rarely change products. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links to all the products will be down in the description box below. I will see you guys in my next video.